Hi Zoe, hi YouTube friends. Right, today I've popped on uh, to do a what I bought and coloured in the months of May and June. Um, wouldn't normally do this type of video, but as we are all at home still, um, I've done a lot, a lot of colourings lately and bought a lot of um, colouring books. So I thought, yep, yeah, okay, I'm going to share them. I do share them on a couple of face group, Facebook groups as well, but let's put them on YouTube too. Right, so this is, this is where I keep all my Jade Summer books, so I discombobulate them and um, put them in here. So, first one I bought, these are not in any order, so not May, June, and I'm sorry about the glare, I will try and hold things up like that so you can see them, because um, I've forgotten, and I'm, I've watched a lot of these videos and I know people date them and everything, but it's not happening, because <laughs> I've already coloured them, and I can't remember when. So, um, I bought the adult colouring book, Kawaii Horror by Jade Summer. Um, and I went a bit nuts with this one. Uh, so let me try and move the big file so you can like see. So the first one I did, they're in the order um, of uh, when I coloured, like the order of I coloured them because um, I like to do that like that. I don't keep them in book order. So first one, and everything I colour, I colour with um, pro markers, sharpies. Um, Ahura pens and a white jelly roll. So um, you don't have to ask what pens I do. It's always the same pens. Those are the pens I have. <laughs> so I did her. And this one. When we got onto normal books, it'd be a little bit easier for you to see. It's just a very clunky file. Her. this one a lot of people comment on the group how i got her transparent so that was um just doing a lighter shade of the behind color and then outlining but uh, i think that worked quite well um, did her as you can see i add a lot of details of my own to the jade summer ones this is why i like them um this is the type of book i like because it's although there's the coloring and there is detail they're, they don't put too much line work in or their own shading or stuff. Unless, of course, you buy grayscale, which I never do because I don't like grayscale because I like to do my own shading. So there, I like how her dress came out. don't know if you can see it. it is a little bit sparkly, but probably not in this light. And then her. The idea with her is you can see she's got her baddie. I do a story. I make a story up. And the lightning bolts in the background so she's been hit because i didn't know why she was crying she was just sort of sat there crying so she's been hurt and that's why she's crying and i liked that she was sitting on this glass that you could see through the um the clouds and stuff she looks obviously like an angel and then her she's um she's been chained up somewhere hence the marks on her wrist and she's hurt herself and <laughs> I have a bit of a dark mind, don't I? <laughs> this is why we like the dark, Kwayoni. Um And then this one, and I made one of the bits here into a snake, which I thought was uh, creative. And then you can sort of see behind, it looks like it's all moulding on the wallpaper. I've added that in. So that, that's it for the Kwayoni Horror. I actually bought that one. Uh, the next one I'm going to show you is out of Alice in Wonderland. I didn't buy that this month, or last month, or whenever, um, but I did colour one, which is that one. I thought, I've had this book for so long, I probably ought to colour something. So, there you go. That's that one. Next one is out of uh, the Mermaids one. Also, didn't buy that now. Um, but I did colour her, sorry, get the glare off of her, her, and her. Now, if you're in the groups I'm in, which is colouring with pugs, uh, I think 
colour around the world, or colouring in the world, or something along those lines. Um, and the Jade Summer group, obviously. You might have seen some of these. Alright, next one I did is out of uh, the Anime colouring book, which looks like that. And I just coloured this one. Now, they are all cute in the Anime ones. And as you see, I have done it cute and done the background. Um, but I have done her, if you look at her face, she is dead. Um, <laughs> I made my own little story up. Um, see, she's got like a broken um, rope here. And then I've done a rope from the rocket ship. And then she's got a big crack in her um, helmet. And then she's obviously a bit blue and dead in there. So <laughs> I didn't fancy doing it cute. And like... I was waiting for my Kwayani horror one and so I thought I'll make my own horror one and then the last I actually bought this one uh, the Art Nouvelle one um, I've only done one in it which is this one here and oh my goodness my eyes afterwards I think I was blind um, it really really did do a number on my eyes so I haven't done any of the other since but I do want to do the witchy one um in um well nearer autumn i suppose um but yeah this is um i like that book but i think probably do a picture out of there and then do something a little bit easier so and that's that one then um i bought um some of um the well i bought three of the coloring heaven ones um which were just getting them these three so i bought frightlins um as the like a back copy i bought fantasy princesses and i bought sarah k um this is so lush sarah k i haven't colored anything in that one yet uh fantasy princesses i have colored two no i lie i have colored three so I coloured um, Sweet Princess, a lot of people coloured that one. I get like a little bit off, put off if loads of people have coloured the same one. I kind of want to colour something different because I don't want to be the same. And I coloured Vampire Princess and I coloured Voodoo Princess. Then Frightlands, I tried to do one and I mucked it up and I haven't carried on with it but I'll still show it but it's um, it's not going to be completed because I just didn't like how it was going so it will just stay in there unfinished. <laughs> I don't have a problem with that anymore. <laughs> I used to have a problem with that, I have to finish all the whips, no, I don't care now. <laughs> just like, life's too short, just colour what you want to. Then gothic fairies i already had this one but i did color three i colored this one which is and i colored this one and i think i'm lying again i've colored four um i've colored this one and this one if you are with coloring with pugs um this is actually the banner poster i'm so proud so get over on Facebook and have a look at Colouring Pugs and you'll see this one, banner poster, woo, <laughs> get me, and I coloured this one, <laughs> if you can hear laughing in the background, that is my husband, so ignore any tank noises because he plays his game or any laughing, <laughs> right, and then I bought these monster books, look at those, right, listen to this, surprise it didn't go through the table so i've got jumbo fashion books for girls yes these are for children but i don't care <laughs> uh, look how thick that is that is monster but um 300 so i got this one first of all and then i saw there was another one now this one was eight pounds something in the uk and that one was 11 pounds something and um there wasn't really there was a few pictures on the reviews on amazon but there wasn't really a lot to go by so i thought i'd go for this one because i kind of like the 
the front image is better and I've coloured a few I've coloured um, this young lady here okay and I have coloured you have difficulty turning pages um, I've coloured her She she looks a, a little funny colour actually. I used saffron. I think she looks a little bit Australian to me. She's got some sort of tan going on. I coloured her. Oh, these are so quick and easy because obviously there's no backgrounds. This is what I like. I do like. I'm a bit fussy with colouring books. I like human interest, or at least something that resembles a hu human. You know, quiet or. That sort of thing. Um, I'm not into colouring animals. I don't like too much background, but I will colour background, obviously, if it is in the picture. Um, <laughs> although I do it first. Um, one of the sites they were asking, which part of your colouring do you do first? And I'm like, I do the background first because I don't like it. It's a bit like food. You eat the things you don't like first and you save the best to last. Same with colouring. So, well, in my land it is. So yeah, and her. So they look like a bit fashion model -y. Um Her. <laughs> I don't think there's any boys in this. So you are going to get a look. Her. Um, <laughs> she looks like um, Goldie Horn to me when she was young. Right, so yeah, that's all them. But this book, I'll give you a little... I didn't bother flipping through like the Jade Summers because I think everybody on the planet has Jade Summers who colours. Uh, same with Colouring Heaven, you know. But like, I'll give you just like a little flip of what is going on in here. So they have like different styles of um, colouring girls type thing. Now, sorry if it's a bit light, but... They're not too bad. So I like this one. I think that's pretty good. And they have like a nice nice border as well, which is uh, alright. Now, this one. I don't think this one is as good. This one was dearer, £11 something. Um, I've coloured one in it. <laughs> look at this. Look. Um, some of the bit. Look at the. Look at her neck. I mean, seriously. Um. <laughs> Some of the pictures in here are okay. Like, I mean, that sort of like, not that one. I can never find it. That sort of like one that's in the other book. There's only two copies that are actually in the other book. They are all, it, they are all different ones. Although there's two in this book that's very similar to each other, but you know. But some of these, I mean, some are good. I mean, some have no eyes like that. I mean, weird sort of spider eyes. But I can live with that. It's the ones that have no eyes at all that I find. I mean, I like that. I mean, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good one. Right. What's going on? <laughs> she looks very creepy. But you could put that in yourself. Just trying to find that. Oh, yeah, there's, there's the one I did. Uh, which is alright. I mean, I was just having a little play. There's a cute one afterwards. It's got like a doggy hat. Um... I don't like it when they do the shading, like the the lines. I don't like that at all. But yeah, I live with it. Yeah, I don't like these eyes, the weird weird bits. <laughs> and then where's it? Oh yeah, look. I know she's got glasses on. But no eyes. <laughs> oh, look, it's the back of somebody. Um, yeah. So anyway, this is this is. I mean, you might recognise this from the other book, right? I coloured that in on the other book, and I coloured that in on the other book. But this one, look, the flowers are going off her skirt. So I just don't think this one. I mean, it has got some good images. I do like that one. Yeah. So anyway, um, it's it's okay for eleven pound. It's it's okay. But I had to have both because, you know, let's, let's just have all of it. Then the next ones I bought were, I bought Yam Puff Stuff, I bought Spooktacular Halloween, and I bought Monsters and Aliens Colouring Book. Now, start with Monsters and Aliens Colouring Book. 
Um, this is a children's one and the paper is awful, so awful, but the pictures are really cute. So <laughs> that's why I bought it because I was like, oh. I've coloured in one, but it, oh my goodness, it took some work. It really took some work to make it look anyway decent and it's still not fantastic it's just it's horrible horrible paper it just sort of soaks the ink up and looks blotchy and streaky and ugh, it's horrible but the pictures might have to like scan them i mean they're just they've got a bit of a sense of humor about them like then so i just thought they are city tour <laughs> so it's just really cute aren't they invisible man so yeah i lo really love that one but I'm, I'm gonna have to get some cardstock and just basically print them out i think onto and i don't really like that they're at the eight by eight size either so i just want to show you the one with the glasses I was going to do this one, but when I discovered the paper was rubbish, I was like, oh, I don't want to do that yet. But yes, this is very cute. I think it was like, it was under five, under five pounds. Then, um, this one, Spectacular Halloween. I know, it's, yeah, it's a bit early for Halloween, I know. Um, I've coloured that pumpkin, <laughs> but I just wanted to see what the paper was like. So it's, it's very similar to, it's just shade summer paper. Um, <laughs> you know, Amazon. So yeah, these are cute. Another fun thing for Halloween. I think this is not too. I hope you can see all this. I can't really tell in my camera. <laughs> Get to the end of it, you won't have seen anything at all. Um, yep. Yeah, so that one, and then Yam Puff. Wow, I just went mental with this one. Yam Puff stuff. Okay. Let's see. Right, I did the pancake one which in my family seems to be everyone's favourite one. I've done the tea one. Try to make her hair look a bit like steam. I've done the ice cream one. And the artist, I really like that one. I love how that came out. And that, I ordered some... Um, if I'm saying it wrong, it's wrong. <laughs> but these pens, hold on. Those pens. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I ordered some of these pens, and that is actually that colour there. Oh, I love that colour. Number 68, if you've got these. Oh, I love it, love it. Love that colour. Um, then I did her, right. <laughs> I... <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little concerned with this one. They did did they have to make her hair come between her legs? I mean seriously, I You can see where I'm going with that, can't you? Um it wasn't till I coloured it that I thought that yeah, that doesn't look great. I'm <laughs> It's ruined it for me. It's ruined that picture for me. Because <laughs> all I can see is that now. Oh dear, yes. I had the maturity of a ten year old. And then this one a coffee one so that was that one and then i found the best books ever and i hope we can fit this in because it's going to die in 20 uh is it called oh 30 minutes it usually cuts me off right so i found the best books i found the 90s the 50s and the 80s oh i love them i love them so much i love them and that's all i've been coloring from now on because <laughs> I just found them. So, I will show you the 90s. Yes, I was a teenager in the 90s. So, I remember that era well. And I coloured this one. She looks like she's going to a rave. And I will just give you a little flip through. There is a full flip through on YouTube somewhere. But, there's lots of good images in here. Oh, and what I really liked about all three of these books is not everybody is white, which is fantastic because I have been dying to try different skin tones. So I really, really enjoy in the fact that, you know, 
not all Caucasian. <laughs> and then I have the 50s. So I've got her, Betty Crocker inspired. <laughs> Um, oh, I love the 50s kitchen. My kitchen, I've got 50s type things in it, like the tea and coffee, is that sort of, the jars, or that sort of thing and whatnot. But yeah, really like her. And I did these two lovely ladies. Now, I have just ordered the Touch New 24 skin tone markers. So I will have a little bit more variety in skin tone soon because at the moment I only have a few colours. <laughs> So um, I, I can't do too much with them, but there's those. And then the 80s, which is my favourite one out of them. So I did this one, which is really totally bright. And I thought I'd hate the background, like having to colour it in because I don't really like backgrounds, as I've said. Um, but I actually really enjoyed it. And then this one, which I am super, super proud of. I think this just, this just came out fantastic. Even if I do say so myself, I know. Get a ginormous head, won't be able to get through doors soon. Um, and then lastly, I did her. Now, she only looks good on her face if you bring her up. Because, like, when she's afar, like, the shadow looks a bit dodge. But... <laughs> <laughs> but at close you can like see how I've done like the lips and stuff like that so yeah she's she's fine I have started another one in here but I won't show you that in case I decide to do a July flip and then lastly I did some drawing and colouring of my own so I'll just quickly show you these so I did sort of like a, a dark Disney collection so I did a dark Alice I did a dark Ariel, a dark Cinderella, you see like all like the bits in the background. So like I've done, not to copyright, um, I've done Sebastian, he's a crab but he's not that type of crab. And then like Alice and the cat, the teacup, and, I mean you can see, you can pause on it if you want to see all the little details. Cinders, then I've forgotten what she's called. <laughs> Rapunzel and Snow White with the ugly dwarfs and then I changed up and I did sort of like an 80s disco lady I did a trick-or-treat Halloweeny one and I did a sweetie one now I am thinking about drawing a colouring book although that may never happen because it's probably going to take me many, many years. Because I'm lazy. <laughs> but if you think I should, leave a comment below. And uh, we'll see how much support I get for it. So, if you have liked this, please like it. Feel free to subscribe. Um, I don't put videos up regularly, but I do put them up sporadically. Um, if uh, you want to comment, please comment. I love all the comments. I answer all of them. Please be nice. <laughs> and um, take care everyone and have a lovely day bye